And APD releases new information about Wednesday's deadly officer involved shooting. Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Most importantly today, we now know the name of the man shot and killed by APD Wednesday as he broke into the Archdiocese offices in Albuquerque. And turns out, he was a long way from home. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live outside APD headquarters where APD just held a press conference. That's right, Kim. I just left that press conference where APD identified 31-year-old Mark McEldowna as the suspect who was shot and killed by a police officer. And that police officer's name was also released. It's seven-year APD veteran Mario Perez. Let's get into a few of the details. Police say Mark McEldowna and his girlfriend, 24-year-old Kimberly Bates, and 33-year-old accomplice James Kellogg all came to Albuquerque from Ruidoso with plans to rob the Archdiocese offices uh, here in Albuquerque. Why the Archdiocese offices? Well, police tell us the reason for that was because they believed that all of the money from the parishes came to that central office. So they thought this was going to be a gold mine. Now, let's show you the scene from Wednesday night as we tell you what happened. Police say McEldowna broke in late Wednesday wearing a mask. He ran into an unarmed security guard, beat him, and tied him up before holding a gun to his head and demanding to know where money or a safe was. That guard somehow called a security company who then called police at around 1036. Officers arrived shortly on scene, and one of the first ones was Officer Mario Perez. He confronted McEldowna as he left the rear of the building carrying a safe. Now, we're being told, according to police, that McEldowna then dropped the safe, drew a 357 revolver, and fired three times at Officer Perez before the gun jammed. Officer Perez then returned fire, shooting five times and hitting McEldowna four times. Now, uh, we do know some more about the two accomplices. All three of these were from Ruidoso. They are arrested and they are being held in Ruidoso on charges of armed robbery and conspiracy. That's all the details we have for you right now. We'll have much more on this developing story at 5:30. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. As he said, there was a lot more revealed. They also showed a little more video from the crime as it happened. Again, we'll have more developments throughout the night, beginning at 5:30.